Right, my name is Clinton Gray and today we're going to run through Waze. Right, first things first, I'm going to run you through the settings. Click on the little magnifying glass, go to the cog and we're going to run through general. First things you want to do is set the mile or the kilometers. After that, I wouldn't worry about anything else. Let's go to map display. It's all up to you what you want to choose. Go out of here, go to voice and sound. All right, sound alerts, you can choose on, alerts only or off, just leave it on on. You can choose what sort of voice you want to hear. There's a whole range of voices, so that's your personal choice. Uh, change the volume, play sound to the phone speaker, that's your choice whether you want it on and off. And audio player, if you have something like Shopify or something like that, because you do have the option to be able to listen to music in ways. So again, that's, that's your personal choice. Let's get down here, battery saver, again I would leave it on the default settings, get to navigation, so again all preferences. For those of you that ride motorbikes, perhaps adventure bikes, you can choose to allow it to navigate you onto dirt roads, you can choose to avoid intersections that are difficult. Here's something of interest, you can choose your vehicle type, you know, obviously I've chosen motorcycle. Um, but there's other options there for you. Right, let's get out of there. Go on to car details. You can put your car, what type of fuel you use, and when Waze shows you petrol stations, it'll also use the defaults that you've set, or at least your choices, to tell you where the gas stations are and what the prices are for specific gas types. All right, let's get out of there. Speedometer, again that's personal choice, I'd leave it where it is, nothing too crazy there and the audio player gives you a whole list of uh, apps that you can choose. As I said before, you can choose to listen to your audio uh, while you're driving. Right, notifications, let's check in here, you can again, I would just leave it at default and then when you have time you can go through and check those. Uh, plan drives, okay. This is quite interesting from Waze's point of view, and I think this is somewhere where it's got a slight advantage over Google Maps, is that you can connect it to your calendar. Uh, it gives you the option to remind you when to leave or before you're gonna leave so you don't miss your opportunities. And then the rest of it, I uh, wouldn't worry about it right now. Let's get on to what else it's got. Okay, coming back to this main page, what you can do is set your home once and set your work and also here you can allow it to connect to your phone calendar so it allows you to get notifications when you should be leaving etc we'll just close that down for the moment right let's get back we'll go to the go to the maps right on the maps here this is a, a great little icon here obviously i've got a problem i'm recording indoors but what this allows you to do a whole list of options will come up will allow you to help other ways users so you can select to notify users of roadworks traffic jams etc you'll also notice there is an option to to report the location of uh, official services if you get my meaning uh, we're not going to get into that but you can check it out you'll see what i mean what you need to do if you want to see where you are you can use a two-finger pinch and you can zoom into and see where exactly you're situated if you press this little target here that'll that'll center you on the map if you want to search to or you where you want to go to you have a list of options so really in my opinion it's a really good app it's got some great features um, and i think as far as coverage is concerned obviously towns etc are, are very good uh, in terms of the detail it is when you get out into the into the rural areas especially here where i am you'll notice that only there's very few of the district dirt roads are actually indicated and i think this is where google maps absolutely slaughters ways and that's in your rural area detail but as far as towns and cities etc it's phenomenal and i think the the actual uh, options to allow you to hook up to your calendar etc and get notifications and being able to notify your friends that you're going to be late or so i think all in all a great app i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial 
Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. If that's something you like, put comments in the comment section. It always helps me to improve my tutorials. Thank you very much and take care.